Joining us now is Emmanuel Arnault and Charles-Edouard Gerard, co-founders of Guest to Guest, a home swapping website. You guys have some exciting news to yes. announce besides the fact that I think I got your names yes, correct. Yes, exactly. Right. Your, your French is perfect. Yes, <laughs> that seventh grade French he had yeah. learned is coming back into play. So, so what is it? So we've raised $35 million and we've acquired homeexchange.com, our competitor, our American competitor, pioneer of home exchange. For how much money did you acquire them for? We don't disclose that. But <laughs> I than, had to ask. Yes. You can, you can less than $35 million. Yes, I hope so. Okay, so well, let's kind of break down for those that don't know what you guys are. What is what is guest to guest? Is it similar to Airbnb? What's the differences between it? What are you guys kind of going after? Okay. Sure. So um, home exchange, whether you do it on guest to guest or on homeexchange.com, is the idea that you can swap homes and stay at each other's home for free. So it's very very different from Airbnb because there's no money changing hands between the guest and the host. So it's, it's completely a barter. free. It's a barter, exactly. And same time, you're swapping at the same exact well, time? On both websites, there are mechanisms so that you don't need to do it at the same time, or you don't even need to do it at the same, with the same person. So for instance, uh, you, Peter, you could come to my house, give me some points, and with those points, I could go to Baker's house. Mm -hmm. You could have a triangular A triangular relation. thing, so it Got makes it. it very easy to swap mm -hmm. homes. And the great thing is that when there's no money in a human relationship, it's a lot more sincere. It's not a customer with a supplier. It's two people who are really sharing their homes. And you're not going to end up in a dedicated tourist unit that's all rented all year long. You're in an actual home. So if you come to France, you'll see French books on the shelves and where French people actually live. How many users do you have? Uh, we have more about four, 400,000 members in the world. And in, for guests to guests, we are about uh, 300,000 and with home exchange uh, 600 60,000 sorry and we have two little websites like called home for home it's a spanish website and it's about for uh, 45,000 and a, a very small one trampoline for the the couple and with about 5,000. And what markets are you in? So you're all over Europe and the US? Or everywhere. We uh, guess to guess is in 187 countries and uh, home exchange is in 150 countries. Okay, so what are the differences in costs between house swapping and then doing something like an Airbnb, for instance? Well, it's sort of like the difference between paying and not paying. Mm -hmm. um, it's free. So for home exchange, if you want to become a home exchange member, you're going to pay a one-time subscription. That's $150. And then you can exchange homes as much as you want. But for that $150. Yeah, exactly. Okay. And then you won't pay any single night of hotel, Airbnb, camping, what have you. You won't pay any more for accommodation when you're traveling. At guest to guest business model is somewhat different. You register for free, do exchanges for free, but you can choose optional services like insurance. And so All what are your revenue streams besides the $150? The insurance, you're taking a cut on that? So two different revenue streams. Yeah. HomeExchange.com only subscriptions. On guest to guest we offer ad um, additional services like insurance, deposit, ID verification, and our members can choose those um, services, which means that they can also choose not to take those services. So we have roughly 20% of the people on guest to guest they register for free, they do exchanges for free, and they have basically free, ac free accommodation for their holiday. All right, I'll, I've done a lot of Airbnb. I'm going to check this out. And so, <laughs> guys, stay here. We have our next segment. What Keeps You Going is brought to you by Dunkin' Donuts, where we feature the habits of fast-paced and high-energy entrepreneurs like these guys who just raised $35 million and executives always on the go. So what keeps you sane while you're on the go? Well, really for me, it's my bicycle. Um, every morning, I um, take my bike, I put my headphones on, I'm going to put some uh, music that's going to pump me up in the morning, and when I uh, travel back home in the afternoon, I'm going to take some music that's more chill, and that I can be ready for my three kids, and be uh, really ready to play with them, and during the whole day, whenever I'm going to the meetings, those are my breaks, and I also take phone calls on my bike. Okay, how do you set yourself up for success? Uh, well, what can I say? Um, uh, what I, what I try to do is to run every morning. And I, I think with that, I, I will be uh, prepared to uh, have a good day and to have this success. Exercise is super right. important, yeah. keeps the, the yes. flow. It seems like it for both of you guys. So is that, when you guys are exercising, is that the time of the day that helps you guys become more productive? Or is there a later time in the day that you guys work that makes it more productive? Well, there's really that exercise thing that really helps. And also in the morning, we're both, uh, we both come at the office a before the rest of the team. And it's really great because the phones aren't running, the emails aren't coming in, right. and we can get some time to chat. 
and uh, grab a coffee, I guess. Yes, yeah, exactly. exactly. <laughs> that, uh... Lack of distractions is huge for productivity, I think. Yeah. And, and, and the more guests we've had on to talk about this stuff, morning seems to be the time where you wake up early or you get to the office early, and that's where you can zone in and focus and, and focus. get your day all exactly. set. And you know about that question about success? I think what's, what's really important for us is that what we do, we do it for passion. We don't do it foremost for success. And since we're so big believers of home exchange, we really believe that people all over the world should be able to travel for free, then we're passionate about that and that's what drives us. And you know, to be driven by something, it's really um, even better than coffee to get you uh, yeah. really pumped up. If you're up. not passionate about it, it's just a job, right? And you're it, not gonna exactly. put all in. So how it. often do you guys swap, do, how often do you guys swap houses with other people across the country? Um, two, yeah, two, two times a year, yeah. Okay, exactly. and what other locations have you guys gone to that maybe you hadn't uh, in the past? Yeah, last week, last uh, yes, last week I go to uh, I went to Sicilia, uh -huh. in Italy. Yeah, I swap with a reciprocal. I have a reciprocal exchange with a family, a Sicilian family, uh -huh. during seven days. And Mount Etna was erupting then too, I believe. Sorry, Mount Etna, the volcano on Sicily uh, yes, was erupting yes, just at after, the time. Just after, oh. of, of course. Okay. <laughs> right, any, any great I locations? Say that. <laughs> any great locations you've been excited to go to? Yeah, Morocco, Marrakesh. Uh -huh. I'm in a Riyadh with a pool. Amazing. It was great. Um, wow. Best family vacation ever. I'm gonna leave and just yes. look yeah. this I up. Hope you will, I, you, I, I hope, hope you will subscribe. So you're uh, yes, I'm gonna download it. Emmanuel and Charles Edouard, we wanna thank you guys so very much. They're the co-founders of Guest to Guest.